What's going on guys? Welcome to part two of this Yorian March list. Uh, absolutely love this. This has like all of my favorite cards in it. Um, and it's kicking butt. We did pretty well. If you didn't check out part one, uh, we got we, we got a two and one record, uh, which I'm pretty happy with considering what this deck is looking to do. So uh, let's see what we can do in this video. Hopefully uh, we can get a couple more wins, uh, but I really, I really am enjoying this deck. This one's a lot of fun, a lot, a lot of fun. Uh, this is a great hand, by the way. We've got some rampers here into hopefully a mirror march um, Or you know, we'll see if we get like a Genesis ultimatum off the top or something um, I'm gonna shock myself to get this leaf kindred with down uh, Chances are this mono black deck has quite a bit of removal uh, So there's a very real chance that we just end up, you know, losing out to some of this, but let's go ahead and get risen reef down here uh, See if we hit a land Um, okay, sure. That makes sense. Um, but we still get that activation, which is nice. Um, let's catch her a try him. Uh, we'll see if they want to remove the Leaf Kin Druid. Probably would have made sense for them to have used that on the Leaf Kin Druid, like, immediately, but that's fine. I'm not complaining that they didn't. We have Death Touch? Okay. Great. Um, let's do this, and we'll play Solemn. Yep. Uh, let's get a blue. Uh, and we pass here. Nice that they put Death Touch on the thing with no, <laughs> no power. That's smart. Um, so next turn we can theoretically get a a uh, Mirror March down. Um, gonna take a hit here, uh, for sure. Oh, nope. All right. Well, no more Mirror March, unfortunately. Oh, that feels bad. Feels really bad. Yep. Okay, well, that changes things. Um, uh, not going to block here. We're going to take four. Um, I do want to keep our, our mana up. Uh, as much as possible. Drawing a card will be nice, but um, not quite yet. All right, so we'll do this. Throw that in our hand. Uh, one, two, three. Yeah, so we'll just do this. Scry. Genesis. Let's get a Genesis ultimatum. Risen Reef. Um, no. Hmm. I'm going to say yes, actually. Um, and maybe that's incorrect, but I... Uh, I think Risen Reef is actually quite nice. Uh, I'm guessing that they've got plenty of removal still, but getting just at least an activation out of this. Uh, one, two, three, one, two, three, four. So we can actually do quite a bit here. Rankle. Very good. Yeah. It's pretty awesome. Uh, this is a sweet deck. This is just a mono black deck, um, but it's working. Not gonna block, take a bunch of damage. We'll see what they wanna do. We'd probably just lose out in this matchup, um, but you know, we'll see. Each player discards a card. Sure. We're just gonna discard Aether Gust because it's literally useless. Um, all right, let's do this. Well, there's the Genesis Ultimatum. Um, we have to shock ourselves. I mean, it's the best shot we have. Um, take action. Let's get you. Perfect. Throw that on there. And then Genesis. Okay. All right. So if they can't kill Yorian, we have a shot. Uh, if they can... All right, they can. <laughs> I was gonna say, we actually had a shot there, but um, yeah, they just kill us. Uh, let's do this, just just for the fun of it. <laughs> All right, well, we died. Well done, opponent. Um, man, if we had kept that Yorium, we could have gotten somewhere, but uh, with the two Genesis ultimatums, like we could have gotten somewhere, but that's okay. Uh, lost for game one, but we'll move into game two as in games two and three, excuse me, uh, and see how we do. Um, I love Mirror March. I love 
Genesis Ultimatum. I, I just love so many cards in this list. I'm going to miss a lot of these cards because uh, obviously some are going to be rotating out soon. But um, oh, just so excited about this deck. Ooh, sorry. Uh, okay. Do we keep this? Probably not. Uro is nice. Um, excuse me, but nothing else really works. I think we mulligan. Uh, this we keep. Um, what do we put back? I think it's probably just this. We've got a lot of proactive stuff, so we're probably not even going to leave up Aethergust at any point. Well, chances are it would have been good here, but that's okay. Oops. Alright, Steam Vents. Uh, next turn, get Leafkin Druid down, follow that up with Uro, and then Cavalier. That's good. That's very good. So is this like a reanimator kind of thing, or what are, we, what are we looking at? What are we looking at, guys? Go ahead and get that down. Um, yeah, I mean, we just play Uro. Uh, we're going to take two here. Um, not really a reason not to, to do that. Uh, ooh, actually, that might be better. Um... In fact, I think it just is better. <sighs> yeah, we'll do this. Because uh, this into Cavalier is a nice little combo. Um, Uro is good on its own, but isn't like, you know, it's not doing a ton. Um, throw that out there. <clears throat> Hopefully they don't kill it. Um, but yeah, now we have Cavalier of Thor. Oh, yeah, we do have Cavalier if this stays on the field. Um, that's worth noting. Um, ooh, nice. That's pretty good. Very good. Um, we'll leave it. Uh, yep. So let's do this. Get our green source, does have to be a green source, and then let's Cavalier. Now we're hopefully going to get a bunch of lands. Uh, yes. <laughs> I'm actually going to put that on the bottom. Um, get a Trium land. And no attacks. Alright. Okay, well, I mean, we're hanging in there. Is this our third game? No. This is our second game, right? Sure. I'm gonna kill one of these. I know that that's like kind of an odd trade-off, but um, I kind of don't want them to have that. Um, this is great. Uh, let's do this. Go ahead and fetch out kind of just anything. Doesn't really matter. Um, play Uro. Let's go ahead and peg that thing. Get that out. All right. I have lost too much. Um, we're not gonna attack. Okay. Well, um, next turn we've got Yorian and or Uro, uh, depending on our mana look situation. But um, got some good stuff. Just gonna do this. <clears throat> ah, nice. All right, that's fair. And they get that stuff back. That's pretty good. Those are three really unimportant cards off the top of our deck, so I'm very happy about that. That's also a fairly unimportant card, though. Um, let's cry. Don't want that. Uh, let's throw this bad boy out there. One, two, three, four, five. Get some lands out. Straw. Put a temple down. Ho oh, ho, yes please. Uh, and then we'll throw that into our hand. Um, and we don't attack here. Uh, now I'm willing to obviously block with some things uh, because Ugin's going to come down and the idea here is we're going to sweep everything uh, except Cavalier. Um, 
which is gonna be great. So if they attack in with this uh, Johnny's thing, we just block it with one of our little dudes here. Uh, okay, so let's save ourselves maximum damage. Uh, do we block that? I don't think we block that. Um, <clears throat> that's fine, they get that back. Uh, which is actually good for us, because it just means we get to exile it. <laughs> um, so yeah. Ooh, did misplay a bit here. Um, technically we should do this first. Bit of a mistake, but that's fine. Uh, we knew that was going to happen. Alright, so we needed to... is it three? Yeah, three. <coughs> all right get all that out there um Silence. and now we get to do this <laughs> all right so now we have an ugin a cavalier and an uro active versus one card in hand um and we have a yorian in our hand so i feel pretty good um oh we got a there's a bane slayer what uh, did not pay attention to that. Um, let's do that. Do let's attack in. Okay. Um, uh, I do recognize that, if I'm not mistaken at least, when Uro comes back, uh, we don't get to keep it, but that's fine. Genesis, yes. Oh, we're gonna lose the Genesis, though. Oh, that sucks. That really sucks. Um, we could have stacked that potentially differently, but that's fine. Um, alright. Well, that's it. Okay. Sure. Uh-oh. <laughs> Get some good stuff. They've got a lot of good cards. They just don't really do anything with them. Um, take that. My flames deception. I know we lose a bunch here, but like it's fine. Let's see what happens. Okay, we get a couple. I'm liking that. We're gonna keep this one. Good. <laughs> um, let's get Solemn out. Take action. Get a land. Get a couple, well, one extra Solemn. We'll decline because it doesn't matter. Um, and we'll throw this down. <laughs> Another Ugin on top too. All right. We probably could have just won there with Rada, to be honest, um, but this is cooler. So that might have been a bit of a mistake, but we're fine. Everything's fine. I assume that they have lost. I may be wrong. That's very easy to assume in this position, but you should never should never do that. You should always be... They could sweep, right? And then we only have a Nugan. And a Mirror Mart. Um, and an Uro in the graveyard. <laughs> Uh, yeah, I think we're okay, but we'll see. Maybe they just left. That's a possibility. I hate when people do this, though, if that's what they're doing. Um, this is such a, like... I get that people get tilted. I understand I get tilted, but don't do this. Don't don't be the person that just sits there and waits for the other person um, to time out. That's, ugh, that sucks. It really sucks. Uh, I challenge everybody to never do that. Um, <coughs> excuse me. Well, here we are, guys. How's your week going? Hopefully it's going well. What, what's, what's something you're working on this week? I'm excited to know. Uh, hopefully something fun. Hopefully you guys are enjoying the videos. A lot of people watched the Grixis control list uh, yesterday, so I was glad to see that. Um, it was a fun one. We didn't do very well with it, but it was really fun. I hate this. This is the worst thing. I have asked you guys, and you guys have all said 
you stay on it. You don't concede because that's stupid. And I agree. Uh, but it's very frustrating, obviously, especially when you're like recording a video and it's like, here, have, you know, two minutes of watching a screen do nothing. Um, but, you know, it is what it is. Can't do anything about it other than concede and I'm not doing it. So here we are. Hope you guys enjoy. <sighs> you guys want to know a joke? Are you ready? Uh, okay, so there's this guy. Um, and he walks into a bar. Uh, and he says, ow. It's my joke. It's my go-to joke. Yep. Yep, yep. All right, there we go. I hate that. That's so annoying. I hate when people do that. All right, game three. Let's see how it goes. I think this is game three. Honestly, I'm not keeping track very well, but we're doing pretty well overall, so I'm fine with it. Uh, all right, let's jump in. Let's see how it goes. All right. Do we keep, do we keep, do we keep? Nope. Do we keep, do we keep, do we keep? Oh, this is terrible. Like, this is real bad. <laughs> um, I don't like this. We have one Skyland. We're, we're gonna try. This is so stupid. We shouldn't do this. This is bad. Don't do what I'm doing. That's terrible. <laughs> Nobody should ever do what I'm doing and keep a hand like this. This is garbage. Good start. Slow start. I like that. Bleah. Oh. Well, that helps. That helps a lot, actually. <laughs> Let's hope we had a land off of it, because then we get Terror down a turn early, and that's really solid. John 23 is playing a bit slow. Field of Ruin. That's fine. No, it doesn't bother me too much. We're gonna have to shock ourselves here, which I don't like, but we get a Risen Reef down. That's pretty worth it. Ugh. And this is why I don't like the four Aether Gusts. Um, for the record, this list was pulled. This was not one that I created. Um, it's very similar to ones that I've created, but it's not the one I created. Um, it's better. But the four Aether Gusts are a bit hit or miss. Um, and you know that going into it, so it's like fine. But um, that's definitely a, uh, a point of contingency with this deck. Might as well just go ahead and put Yorian to be mana efficient. Um, the plan will be Terror of the Peaks, though, uh, with the hope that it lives, because then we can Genesis Ultimatum and do some real damage. Um, we'll see what they want to do here. Probably just pump it up. Yeah, that's fine. It's very good, in fact. A leaf can druid. Um, I really don't hate that, but we're gonna we're gonna try and risk it. We're taking two and playing a terror. Um, may not be the best choice in the world, but it's the choice that we've made. Um, if this lives, we can Yorian and actually like just straight kill this knight, which is kind of nice. I'm not blocking. They just pump it and terror dies, so like there's no point. Yeah, it's very good. Okay. Well, here's to hoping. Get rid of one of them. Uh, doesn't work tremendously because now they've got obviously a second, but um, it's a start. It is a start for sure. Um, we do kind of have to, I mean, we're going to have to block this though, which feels terrible. We're also short on land. In a land with 39, or in a deck with 39 lands, we're not getting there. 
Um, Omnath helps though, I will say. They did not, oh. Interesting. Okay, well, didn't expect that. Um, let's play Leaf Kindred. I don't wanna take two, but we're gonna do it. All right, let's do this. We're saving Omnath. Uh, take action, let's get blue source. So now we can Genesis ultimatum. Chances are we're gonna die. If they just have a way to deal four, we're dead. Um, oh, well that's good. Yep. Yes, I, I would love to draw the card in fact. Um, all right, well, here goes nothing. <laughs> Uro is very helpful. Interstaffed, interstaffed. Just to gain us some life, if nothing else. Uh, yeah, I'm keeping you. Eh. I mean, we're gonna scry that down. Oh yeah, that kills us a little bit, doesn't it? Um, let's activate this. Get that out. And do this. Alright, well, we're... A turn away from dying. Uh, we can play Uro out from the graveyard, technically, right? Like, that's good. Ooh, that's nice. Um, decline. Well, we just die then, right? Anytime stuff dies, we die. Oh, that just has trample anyway. All right, we died. Well, okay, here's my thought. I really like the deck. Uh, it's fun, and that's the whole point of this, is to just do stuff over the top, and it does that very, very well. Uh, unfortunately, it's not the fastest thing in the world, but it actually keeps pace pretty well, uh, given the right hand. So, I really do like this one. Um, it's a fun one. This is a silly deck, but it's in. So, I, I would recommend it if you're looking to do something just kind of fun. Um, this is a great starting point. But, love Mirror March. Absolutely love Genesis Ultimatum. It is an amazing card. Uh, and so I couldn't be happier with it, but hopefully you guys enjoyed this these videos uh, since this is part two really do appreciate the uh, The support lately. It's been phenomenal uh, Seeing all you guys here and watching all the videos and stuff is really fun. So thank you guys so much I will see you very soon for another gameplay video